Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I will show you how to install and play StarCraft 2 on Linux using Lutris. Now since StarCraft 2 is exclusive to the Blizzard Battle.net, you will not typically be able to run the game using Steam Proton. Instead my recommendation would be to use Lutris instead. But before we do this, we do need to ensure that you've got all the dependencies covered and this isn't just for Lutris but also for Blizzard's Battle.net as well. So step one is to ensure that you've got the latest GPU driver installed that supports DXVK. Now this step will vary depending on your installed distribution, but if you do have an NVIDIA GPU, then you'll probably find there's some form of utility that will allow you to install the driver, which in my particular case is the hardware configuration application since I'm running Manjaro. Alternatively, if you're using a Ubuntu-based distribution, then you will need to add a PPA to download the latest GPU driver as detailed on the Lutris wiki page about drivers. Uh, alternatively, if you've got AMD, then in theory, as long as you're running the most recent version of the Linux kernel, then you will likely have the latest driver already installed, as you'll typically find that these drivers are bundled with the kernel by default. So the second step is to install the latest version of Wine Stable. Now, we only need to install Wine to cover any dependencies that can't be shipped with Lutris. So to keep it simple as we can, I just recommend you install it for the latest version from your distribution repositories. And the absolute easiest way to do this is through a terminal. So, for example, if you're using a Arch-based distribution, you type in the following, which is sudo pacman space dash capital S and then Wine. Type in your password, press Y to confirm, and there you go, that's all done for you. Alternatively, if you're using Ubuntu, you'd use this command instead. sudo apt install and then wine. And likewise, if you're using a, a different form of a, a different distribution out there, you'll probably find it's similar sort of steps, just a different command. So step three is to install the required dependencies for Blizzard's Battle.net. So as it states on the wiki page for this for our Battle.net, for it to function correctly, you will need to ensure that some additional dependencies are installed. And once again, I found the easiest way to do this is through the terminal. So for example, if you're using a Archbis distribution, you type in the following, which is sudo pacman space dash capital S again, and we're literally copying these libraries here. Once we've done that, press enter, type Y to confirm, and there you go, that's all done. Likewise, Ubuntu is going to be very similar, only you replace the sudo pacman with sudo apt install. And then once again, just highlight these libraries here and paste them into your terminal and confirm. If you need more information about this, I will leave you a link to the Battle.net page on the Lutris wiki. So now that we've covered all the dependencies, we can finally install Lutris. Now this process will vary depending on distribution. For example, if you are in an Arch-based distribution, all you need to do is type in the following into your terminal, which is sudo pacman space dash s and then Lutris. Alternatively, if you're on Ubuntu, you've got to add the repository, which is this command here, this sudo add repository, update your repository lists, and then finally install Lutris. And as you can see, there's instructions for pretty much every distribution out there. Uh, although one notable exception is Linux Mint, as that was actually stealthily removed, I think about a month or so back. Uh, something to do with the way that the Cinnamon desktop interacts with Lutris. I don't know the full details of that. However, I can say that if you still install it using the Ubuntu method, it will still work. So step five is to finally install StarCraft 2. Now for this, we're going to be using a Lutris script that will download all the components we need to run this game. And also if there's any additional tweaks specific to this game, that will be included as well. Now on the StarCraft 2 page, you have three options. You've got the first one, which is your Wine 3D and eSync, your Wine DXVK, and then a DXVK plus, uh, what is that? D39 compiler. I recommend you go for the one in the middle. So click on the install button, open it up. And here it's just a matter of following the instructions. So what typically will happen is it will go through and eventually it will come to a point where you have to download the Blizzard application, 
sign into that, and then download and launch the game as normal. So I'll just show you the first bit, but I won't make you sit through all of it. Okay, so that process is now complete. So we can close that down. And as you can see, there's a new entry here for StarCraft 2. So it's going to play. This will load up Blizzard's Battle.net. And from here, I'll sign in and begin the process of downloading the game. So I'll meet you on the other side. So saving a bit of time, I've just downloaded the game. So I'm literally going to click play and I'll show you some gameplay. We'll probably do the first campaign mission. All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Talk to me. Sounds like a plan. Raiders rock. Commander, there are tutorial videos awaiting your review. Time to man up. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. You can count on me. Don't go up that road. Sounds like a plan. You can count on me. Raiders roll. Time to man up. Count on me. Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Mighty tired of seeing Mech's face. Blast it! Raiders roll. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. You can count on me. Where is everyone? You can count on me. Sounds like a plan. Time to man up. Raiders roll. My neighbors. My family. This is starting to look ugly. So, as you saw, the game does run, run pretty well on, out of the box on Linux. Although, if you are likely to minimize the game window, I would recommend that you use borderless windows mode. As for some reason, when you have it set to full screen, and then you minimize it and then return to it, it does drop the FPS quite dramatically. Especially when you focus the windows again. But, aside from that, that's the only thing that i found that's a bit funny. Uh, I've not personally tested multiplayer, but for what I understand, it works absolutely fine. However, with that, it does bring this video to an end. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for much more content like this in the future. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.